What's up guys, Max here with a pretty important announcement about the future of a character that could make an appearance in Killer Instinct. For some of you guys that have been following KI News pretty closely, many heard about the overall fundraiser that is going to be taking place after Cinder's release, which is actually today, to support competitive Killer Instinct tournaments to actually give them more payout and more money. And essentially, if you guys purchase anything for Killer Instinct from now up until May 14th, all that money raised will actually go towards making bigger prize pools in tournaments, and it's pretty freaking awesome. The other thing that happened with this is that not only did they want to incentivize that if you purchase anything in Killer Instinct between this time frame. Not only will it go towards competitive KI and making them kind of more exciting because there's more money involved, but it will actually go towards the future of a character that everyone's been asking for and something that wasn't initially planned for Killer Instinct Season 2, and that's Shadow Jago. Essentially what's going on is that if this fundraiser hits $100,000 of money that's actually raised through any purchases in KI, if you buy a character, if you purchase an Ultra Pack, if you purchase, you know, Killer Instinct Gold, any of that stuff from now up until May 14th, all the money goes into a fund, and if that fund hits $100,000, we will actually get Shadow Jago as a character, not to mention, like I said, all that money going towards prize pools for KI tournaments. It's pretty freaking cool. You almost don't have to do anything outside of what you normally would be doing, but there is a couple things in case you actually do really want to step up and really support this being a thing. The, uh, the only thing that you can do if you already purchased all of the Killer Instinct stuff and all the Ultra Packs is buy this thing called the Shadow Jago Bundle, which includes, uh, which costs 20 bucks, but includes the same amount worth of Killer Instinct Gold. So kind of like you can buy 20 bucks worth of KI Gold, which is about 7,500, I believe. But you get Shadow Jago for free. It's not really for free because you're kind of buying it for Shadow Jago. Not many. I don't see why you would buy Killer Instinct Gold instead of if you wanted some accessories that you didn't want to unlock way down the line or you want to buy some colors pretty early. That's what I'll be doing for this one when I eventually buy this bundle. But this is pretty much the support Shadow Jago bundle in case you guys are interested to check it out. Uh, otherwise, Shadow Jago is not included in any other way in Killer Instinct unless you had the original download code. I'm pretty sure they would want to just make him free by any means where anyone can get access to him, but the big issue is that people incentivized that early when the game launched, and Shadow Jago being a unique code back in the day was something that uh, was something that you can't like just take away from people. Um, you can't make him non-incentivized in some reason, which is why the only way to get him is through this bundle when he's with him being included with the KI Gold. So that's why this one is here to kind of support the community fund for the tournaments as well as get up to $100,000 to make Shadow Jago a real boy. The sad part is that if this does not reach that goal of 100k throughout all the sales that happen over the next two weeks leading until May 14th, Shadow Jago will not be made into a real character. He will remain how he is now, which is just an additional skin. Just, and to clarify what they're going to do, they're going to take Shadow Jago's moveset, which he has as a boss, then actually integrate it, balance it out, and make it usable through players where he's actually a unique character, and not just a skin, which takes quite a bit of time and work, which is why they're setting it as a an overall goal. Now, initially, I'd be like, oh, wow, they're crowdfunding this thing. I'd be kind of worried about that. But essentially, the biggest goal for this is that the Killer Instinct com competitive community is the one that benefits the most from this because things like Evo and other big Killer Instinct events that'll be happening over the span of the next year or two going into 2016 are going to benefit from this pretty hard with those bigger prize pools and uh, hopefully get a lot more people to pay attention to them. So I really, I'm really happy that MS is actually paying attention to the competitive KI community. I haven't really been since EVO, especially since I started working on the game personally back at the end of 2014. But at the same time, I'm really happy to hear that Jago or Shadow Jago can finally become a real boy. Because that's what everyone's been wanting for the longest time, and it's sadly not a reality yet. The, uh, the worst part about this is that people are think it's just going to happen. That goal is kind of far out there, and the biggest issue with this is that if you guys play Killer Instinct and you and you like it and you've been playing it, there's a good chance that you've already bought the Combo Breaker and the Ultra Pack, meaning that you're not going to spend any additional money within this couple of week time frame, which is the fundraiser for all this stuff. You most likely are just going to download Cinder and that's it, and which means that nothing, nothing kind of goes into this because it all depends on the purchases that happen within that two week period happening from now till May 14th. So, like I said, if you guys want to see this be a reality, I'm not forcing you to do this by any means. I'm going to be doing it myself, and I'm going to be purchasing the Shadow Jago and KI Gold bundle for 20 bucks. I hate to think that one character is $20, so I'm very glad that they included enough KI Gold to at least make it worth it for the guys that definitely want to get something out of it. 
And uh, for some other characters, the thing that I will get out of it is that I hate unlocking accessories and spending a whole bunch of time with the character and colors and stuff like that. And I can just skip it and go ahead and buy that that stuff with the KI gold. So at least there is that. Um, but let me know what you guys think about this entire thing in general. I'm pretty happy to see that Shadow Jago could actually be a real freaking character, but it's a long way off from happening, and hopefully within the two weeks we get an update as far as the entire situation. But as always, guys, I'll be going up with the stream and Week of Cinder very soon, and if you guys want to see Shadow Jago, highly encourage you, buy the game now. This would be the perfect chance if you actually want to get a copy of Killer Instinct to uh, help support the competitive scene and support an additional character for the end of Season 2. Like I said, guys, I'm going to be buying that bundle just because I want to do whatever I can to support this. I wish I could do a personal fundraiser somehow on stream, but the, the the only way that you can actually contribute money to this thing is if you actually purchase any of the digital Killer Instinct products, and uh, sadly I can't just like throw them money, like please make Shadow Jago real, come on, give us this freaking character. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching, hopefully you learned a bit from this, and please check out that link from Ultra Combo Forums to understand completely what's going on with the Shadow Jago slash competitive fundraiser for $100,000. Take care dudes, and I'll see you next time.